passion. What is passion? Well, the dictionary describes it as a strong and barely controllable emotion. I'm more interested in what people's passions are and how they help them in their day-to-day -day life. See, there's many ways of using your passion. Some people use it for their work. It increases your contribution and it just brings energy to your work. You wouldn't want to do any work if you weren't passionate about it. It's as simple as being more passionate about your work means that you will do more work and your quality of work will be higher because you're enjoying what you're doing. What is your passion? Oh wait, hang on. Let me just skip. Teddy bear. Let me just get rid of this guy. Continue. Um, my passion is to research concepts and develop concepts from problems that are in society or in people's stories and, and turn them into creative outputs and creative products. When did you find that? When did you find that that was your passion? Uh, <laughs> about a month ago. <laughs> after, after a long, well, after about two and a half years of my degree, I found out what I specifically liked to do within fashion, and that was developing concepts and talking about people's problems and creating a solution that's creative. So, so it didn't instantly come to you? you had to no, think definitely about. not. It took took quite a long time in education to realise what I liked and what I was interested in. Yeah, so I, I often change my mind when it comes to what I'm doing within my work. So often, if I'm doing a project, it'll have five different branches off from the main concept because I'll get bored or I'll forget what I'm doing, I'll go on to the next thing or whatever. But now that I've found sort of that I want to tell people stories or address issues, it's a lot easier for me to stick to things so that I don't just pop. How does it keep you motivated? Because um, it keeps my brain stimulated. So if I'm not interested in a subject, if I'm doing something like what I'm supposed to, so my course is fashion design, so I'm supposed to be churning out designs. And if, if for me, if they're not related to an issue or a problem, if I'm not interested in that, that topic, then I lose concentration. I just get bored. I just say, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow because I'm not like, I want to do this now because I'm not concerned about an issue. You can do your course without being passionate about it. Yeah, without being interested in a certain subject, if I was just churning out designs just because they, if say for example my project was all about things that were the colour blue, and if they, if I was just, if I was just to be told do loads of designs that were blue, then I would just get bored. I just wouldn't care. But if they do loads of designs that are about I don't know problems within the LGBT community, then I'd find that a lot easier to do work and I'd be a lot more motivated personally. Do you think that's you or do you think that's everybody? Do you think everybody needs to be passionate about their work? So like my friend Leah, she was once passionate about writing and she does creative writing at university. So she was passionate about that, but because she's done a degree in it, she's no longer passionate because she and she wishes she kept her passion for a hobby and, and did something else for a career. Whereas I personally think that if you're not, if it's not your main interest obviously you should have different other things that you're interested in but if it's not your main interest then you will just fall off the bandwagon and you will just like end up working Tesco's because you, you don't really care about it because it is hard like going to university go, getting looking for a job after that it is hard so you have to be it has to be your main sort of priority and your main interest so do you think if someone else was doing your course um, wasn't passionate about it do you think you would do better at it yeah because in terms of because for my course you have to go into depth of of research and development so if you're doing something so say i don't personally really care what like f football for example i don't care about football and i was going into research football i probably would think oh yeah that's enough so i don't, I don't really care about it so i probably think that um, I wouldn't go into as much depth in if I was doing a subject that I really cared about, so I probably wouldn't get as good of a mark or as good of an outcome at the end. But for others, passion isn't about work or getting ahead in work. It's more about 
enjoying yourself and enjoying your life through your passion. And you could do that through many ways. You could have a hobby, like playing an instrument, playing a sport, or your passion could be an interest that can help you escape from your day-to-day -day life. <laughs> like my dad, who's a bit football crazy. I support Manchester United and have done since I was about five years old. I was just brought up in my family. We were as a family of United supporters, so I was just brought up in that sort of in, in that environment, and it it evolved. It wasn't it wasn't a conscious decision of something that I wanted to do. It just happened. It evolved as I, as, as I grew up. The family all supported United, so I just it's something I found myself doing. Just like I grew up in the family, and I found myself speaking English because everybody else speaks English. I found myself doing all the other things that my family do and now and as a result I found myself being a United supporter and then uh, when I was lucky enough for my dad to take me to games when I was very young and I enjoyed it and that's why I've continued to do so. Well now I support my team by being a season ticket holder and going to every home game hope uh, that I can manage and uh, if the opportunity arises to be able to get to a ticket, I'll go to an away game as well. So I go by physically supporting the club during games. Particularly a club like Manchester United, the supporters are very passionate. And I think when the supporters are not behind the club, it does, perfect, uh, it, it does um, um, affect the team's performance. I think... Also, for supporting the club from the, from the overall club perspective, obviously, the, the more support means more money, more money means more success in this day and age. What do I get out of it now? Obviously, great pleasure and satisfaction when the team does well. Uh, a bit of heartache and pain when the team doesn't do particularly well. But um, I enjoy going to watch football. I enjoy being with a bunch of friends, a bunch of people all with the same interests, same passion. Uh, I enjoy going with my, with my son, who I've indoctrinated into the Manchester United culture, whether he likes it or not, and I think he enjoys going as well. So in conclusion, I learnt from my research and conducting my interviews that a lot of stuff comes down to how passionate you are about it, say for your work ethic will be extremely high if your passion for what you're doing is extremely high. It all links together. Same with your hobbies and your interests. You will have more fun, you'll be less stressed out, the more passionate you are about it and the more you'll want to do it. I also found out that you shouldn't really go out trying to look for a passion. It will probably come to you. I learned what talking to my sister that she went for a long time not, not enjoying what she was doing because she didn't even know her passion. And then she stumbled across fashion, really loved it, and now she does fashion. Or if you have a passion and you have a job which you don't enjoy and you don't like going to, then you need to consider your well-being, your happiness. While conducting this film, I also thought about my life and my passions and I, and I thought about stuff that makes me happy. And I thought about, I wouldn't even be doing this film if I wasn't passionate about making films. So in conclusion, I think it's integral that you're passionate about something and you're passionate about what you're working at so that you enjoy your life more and you're plain and simple, just have an easier time.